Welcome to this quick tutorial on how to create a deep nested comment with dynamic avatar and like functionality using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. In this video, we will walk you through the code step by step, whether you are a beginner or just looking to improve your skills. This guide is for you. Let's get started. Common challenge when building a dynamic system, that's common system, include managing nested replies, generating unique avatar, and handling user interaction like likes and reply. I'll guide you through these pain points. So we have a like functionality here. The user can like and unlike, as you can see here. So there is it. Step one, start by setting up a basic HTML structure. This include a div element with an ID. So by I have an HTML element here with a div with an ID of comment that's straight. So as you can see, the next step is what? Start your comment trade with CSS. Ensure that each comment as a unique look, including the avatar. So I have my CSS style here. First one is the body. I gave it a font family of this one. Mass width of 800 PS. Margin of zero, then auto. And pattern of 20 PS. Then I gave it a background color of this one. Then also I have a comment class. Which, which is the style here, and also you have the reply here, then alter, then alter tag, then we also have the meta here, then action, action button, then the likes. And also we have the comment icon, which is this one. Then we have the avatar, we have style it here, then comment header, which is here. Then the depth over is the drilling. That's the margin here. So these ones are the depth. As you can see here, the depth. That's the space that we are giving. Margin left. So for the first one, we started with 0. We gave it to 24, 48, 72, and 96. Next, we move on to the dynamic using JavaScript. So we have an array containing objects of users. So we have an array here that's with a variable called comment containing objects of users. So we have ID here as the first ID. The author is this one. Then the content, then timestamp, and the likes reply. The second one to the same thing. But this time we added a parent ID referring to this one. So as you can see here, realize that Sarah is replying or commenting on this one. So realize that we are referencing it by the ID, the print ID is one, which is this one. And Johnson is replying to this person, so its ID is two. So the print ID, so realize that underneath it, we have right so as you can see here so if another person is replying to Sarah it will be here so let me show you okay so copy this one let's copy this one from here then let's choose to this it here okay so now I want to show you guys something so this one, let's make it, let's say the ID, let's check the last parent ID. Okay, so let's make it 11. Then this one over here, let's change it to Aaron. Aaron Atto. Then the content, I, I agree, Sarah, okay, so this is it. Okay, so 
Now, the parent ID, we are referring to this. We are referring to this. So the parent ID here will be 2. So, 2. Good. So now, let's go back and check. So as you can see, this one, Aaron Atto is on the same line as Johnson because they are replying to this person, Travisin. So based on the parents, it's very, very important. We need to know what we are referring to. So that is it. So that's our, then we have a function called generate color. There is it, it takes one parameter, that's the name, right? Name of the person, which is this one. We also have a function called get initialize. So it will give us the initial of the person. So we realize that we have generate color then comment dot author. So that is the this is it. so this is the author. So it will give us name of the author the person who commented so there is it or the name of the person who posts the comment right so that's it then we have comment dot author which will give us the initial then we have an html element here and this one is the depth this one is giving us the space i okay the space here so the margin right so we need to know the depth in order for us to Give it a margin. So we have the depth and then the data that comment ID. So this one is the comment ID attribute. Then we have the aviator color, right? So the color code for the aviator that's the background color. So realize that this one is having a different background com compared to this one. So the background that we are getting for all users are unique, right? Are unique as we can see here. Then this is the initial year. Then over here we are displaying the comment dot author. And we are checking to see whether this one is set to true or false. So it's author. It's author. So realize that we have where is it? As you can see here. It's author. So if it's author is set to true, meaning that it's the person who posted it. So let's check and see. We display this one, author. You get me? So this one is just a functionality. Let's say you want to display what the maybe best followers or something like that. Then you so Facebook normally implement this functionality if you remember. Facebook normal implements maybe supporter, right? If someone you can display it here using that same logic. Okay. Then we have render comment. So this function, what it, it will do is that it will just render the comment for us. So we have so we are targeting this one. The elements with the ID comment trade, which is this one. Then we we'll get the commentary. So how do we get the commentary? By build commentary, which is this one. Build commentary. We have the comment here. Then we have render commentary and commentary. So which one is the comment? This one. So this variable here, we are displaying it here, which is here. And this is the commentary. So the build commentary function takes one parameter. Then we have comment map, the new map. Then we have something here. Right, okay. So this one, this code is easy to understand. Then we have render commentary. So we want to render it. So we have create comment element. Then we have render commentary, then this is it. What else should we do? We have the likes functionality. Likes functionality. So we check if comment.like. So if the person have already liked, 
then it's click on it just subtract minus one from it are you okay but if not then just add it and set the light to true this one will allow us to display the love icon so when i click on this one as you can see here there's a love icon and also there is a blue color here indicating that it's like so because of this one we setting this one to true meaning that it's likes right Now, pro tip, test your comment section with different screen size to ensure user friendly on all devices. Another tip, use consistent spacing for nested reply to maintain clarity and readability. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe and share. Keep practicing. And you must start creating a dynamic comment session in no time. Thank you for watching. Remember, coding is all about practice and consistency. Keep coding and stay blessed.